Well, I, I understand that you have chosen to live in your hometown where you were born. Um, what, what kind of house did you grow up in? What was it like? What kind of smells do you remember from your home growing uh, up? Yeah, from my home, I remember it was um, a very small apartment, but with a very big terrace. Very big terrace? Ah, terrace. Terrace. And because it was a very high um, level apartment, in terms of floors, so we had a very nice view. Mm. So I started from there to understand the movements mm. of the moon, looking every night to the sky. Yes. So, and when in the morning when I was opening my window, I could see the Pyrenees at the back, and I was just uh, uh, knowing if there were a snow or not on there. So. Mm. Nice memories from my. It was so uh, small, but um, I love. Yeah, <laughs> I love. I can so, tell. Yeah. Did you have a, like garden orange trees in pots or lemon trees or on the terrace, like greenery on the terrace? Greenery and, and we used to eat there every day. Even in winter, if it was cold, or in summer, doesn't matter. Yeah, we used it so, so, so much. So <laughs> this, um, uh, it was uh, an everyday contact with the air and to the outside and mm -hmm. so on. Mm -hmm. And in the way um, from my home to, to to the school when I was really child, there were a house that I loved uh, a lot. It was like um, a house, like in a rectangle, mm -hmm. and one side was made in stone, and the other was made in glass. Oh, in yes. front of a garden, it was so simple, but I love it. <laughs> and my mother <coughs> said, when one day I arrived at home, and I said, I want to be an architect, but I don't remember that. <laughs> but she always <laughs> told me. How old were you? I don't know exactly, maybe 10 or 12. So, okay. <laughs> what did your family, no, keep on no, that, keep just going. for a moment. Um, so, uh, the family context that you grew up in, um, what did your parents do? Uh, my father um, was like, uh, he was the spirit of an engineer. He was an, did, uh, uh, high studies, you know. He then went to university uh, mm. and, so and so But his spirit was like an engineer. And, and he managed a, a workshop about electrical and mechanical. Mm -hmm. And he made many, how can I say, inventors. Uh, yeah, like yeah. inventors. Yeah. So new things for. He, he, he loved. Uh, to make inventors. <laughs> That's wonderful. Um, I think we'll probably back and forth across uh, the personal and the professional here, but this is kind of related. Um, the lecture you're about to give was um, uh, created by the school um, on, based on a, a quote from Arthur Erickson who said that it was the responsibility of the current generation of architects to teach something to the next generation. And um, of all the things that might be the personal, the professional, that have been part of you know the the journey that you've been on, you know, what would you say would be the, the kind of crux of the message you would give to mm. <coughs> a, a, the next generation? Yeah, I have to work with passion. <laughs> no, because. Um, it's good to understand architecture not as a as a job. No, it's a, mm -hmm. it's a way of uh, of yeah. living. Yeah, it's a vocation. It really. has, uh, <laughs> to, to live this with passion. Mm -hmm. Good advice. In twenty twelve, you and your partner started a summer school. Yeah. Um, in a bell foundry, <laughs> which just like. I like tell please tell us about that. It's awesome because it is this passing on that yeah. Ron was yeah, saying. Yeah, no, actually, I yeah. have a question about exactly yeah. that, so we can. Uh, 
<laughs> no, because um, we when we started, we rent uh, an apartment in the center of the city, and then we said we have to go. Uh, not away, but uh, outside of, of the center and so on. But there were a lot of people doing internships, coming and going, and it was not so convenient to be in the countryside, may I mm-hmm. say. So when we found the foundry, it was ah, so lovely, because when you are coming in, you are in another world, you know? It's another, it's another world. But we are in the center of the city, so it's so convenient. Because it's an old factory, so... And it was... Um, yeah, it's in the center of the city. It's so funny. And, Is your office there yeah. also? Yeah. And then we moved there uh, right now. Um, yes, 10, 11 years ago. You moved the office there? Yeah. But you don't live there? No. We don't oh, thank God. No. <laughs> no. But we live five minutes oh, okay. walk, so we go okay. home for lunch and so on. Nice. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's great. The, um, are both um, of the institutions in the same place? So I was, <clears throat> I, one was uh, the architecture laboratory, which was where you do uh, research around things that are in, of interest, I assume, and then there's a, uh, if I murder the pronunciation, I'm sorry, the Bunka Foundation to Bunka, yes. really kind of disseminate your work. And uh, could you talk a little bit about how you think about those things? There's, I heard they were uh, conjoined under a wonderful title, the universe of shared creativity. Yeah. So uh, Bunka, uh, the name of Bunka comes from um, Japan. In Japanese, Bunka means culture. Culture? Ah, okay. Uh-huh. So, so okay. Alciar, Alciar, yeah. Alciar, Bunka. So this is a foundation that tries to 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 to, to how to say to to uh, to help people to understand how important is architecture for their yes. lives. And, and how does it work? Does um what does tell me some of the things that the foundation does to help people understand how architecture works? Uh, that it's linked also with the workshop that we do in, in summers, okay. and that it's more related to the lava the, in terms of research. And at that moment, we do also when when we do these workshops, we do an open program, which uh, is open to the city and to the people. And also the, the participants on that are not only architects, but they come also from other fields. So we try to attract different kind of people around the, the, the architecture because it's very important for their lives, the, the places where they live, or the, you know. And sometimes it seems that architecture is for architects, but it is not. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. So are these like one day things or weekends or that that comes uh, mostly in summer, mm-hmm. but also during the the year when there are some festivals in the city, like a dance mm-hmm. festival or music festival. And so we share our space for them. So we try to oh, be open oh, nice. to, to the city. How many inhabitants? Does your city have? Uh, not so much. <laughs> no. well, Forty thousand. Okay, but it's quite close to Barcelona. One hour and a half by oh, car. Not so close. Not so okay. close. Okay. We are closer to Girona. We were been talking before about yeah, Girona, okay. but uh, to Barcelona we are one hour and a half by wow. car. <laughs> you have to come. Yes. Well, you we have already to come. Con- we concluded that earlier. You have right? to yes. come. come. Yes. <laughs> And, and the laboratory now uh, it's um, in it will be host in in a in a place so nice that uh, we have uh, that now we have and it's uh, in the countryside and it has a, a forest and uh, all constructions and so on. We think there there are um, a kind of natural conditions and there is a spirit of the place so nice that we think it's, this site has the conditions to awake 
the the perception and to awake creativity and, and to awake the the possibilities of uh, doing a work issues and having a work with us. So we are very, <laughs> right now, it's our dream and we are pushing this project yes. so much. <laughs> really. Actually, that was um, a line of thinking about um, a site that was really resonant with many of the audience that you'll see. Our school is very interested in how um, connections are made across scales from you know, regions to landscapes to cities to buildings, etc. It's a strong interest of many people in this area. You, maybe that's why you like us. <laughs> but um, one of the things, you said this, uh, I was reading your New York Times interview, um, and it's, uh, you said a quote that was very charming. Um, for us, it's very important is the relationship to the site. If the site is natural, or if the site is a building, or if the site is a city. Um, I, I wonder, I mean, you've worked at so many different scales, from the scale of a national park as a consultant down to a kind of a of kind of very intimate space in a, in, a, in a restaurant and probably more intimate than I'm aware of. But could you talk a little bit about how that attitude or that ethos has kind of informed how you work and, and, and how you interact with your colleagues? Yes, that's, uh, for us that's true. Huh? What, what happens is that when, when we have a cognition, we know what to do, we have the question what to do, if it's a restaurant or if it's an office or if it's a school, and then we have a place where to do this. Mm. And this place, that doesn't matter if it's the landscape, uh, or if it's in the Barcelona city, or if it's an existing building, we try to understand the, the not only the characteristics of, of this place, but also the, pot the potentiality of this place. And we try to, through the intervention, to reveal its potentiality, to reveal its characteristics, so, so to, to, to make it visible. So what's that conversation like in the office? How do you how do you do that? I mean, it's and a with lot. your husband, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 I assume yeah, yeah. you always win. <laughs> the only woman, with two partners, men. You would be the only sensible one. As you. It would be the only sensible thing. <laughs> no, it's it's good because three. It's not. Uh, it's not a question of because when there are two, no, maybe it's mm. you or me. So that's three. Uh, goes together, and we are so different. No, Ramon, Rafael, me, all of three, we are so different. And when we discuss and when we talk, so uh, we agree at the end, and mm -hmm. we and we think if uh, if we all three of us we agree, maybe it's not so wrong. <laughs> Yeah, oh, that's good. Yeah, it's not so but when you have those discussions, I've, I'm so intrigued by how you met, make that yeah. hap, the catalyst for that. Is this like a conversation about what yeah. you see together, or is it something where someone might make something that suggests some perception of a place and you share that, or what, what's the what's the operation of that? Yeah, the, the operation is, uh, for example, we like to go together to visit the, the place. This is very important. And, and then, no, we smell, so we, we have these feelings from, from this side. At different scales, no, because you can see the far mountains, you can see the, the less details, so it's, to understand the place is not only a question of um, topography or the, or, mm -hmm. yes. or mm, yes, say abstraction. the numbers, yeah, you know, yeah, it's, it's, an it's, it's also more abstract, and also it's related to different scales, mm -hmm. so, the, the, mm -hmm. the closure, middle, um, larger, and um, and also this place means a kind of culture, you know, what, what it's mm. behind and what history has uh, brought to us. So when so the, the sense of place, it's. Many levels. Many levels, no? Yeah. It's been bigger, bigger, bigger. And does one of you have a wonderful sketchbook? Yeah, yeah, and, and then we try to, to, to express that. And 
this is very important. And the other part important is in this what we have to do the, about the brief is to think what's that? What we can um, offer to that program? No, that maybe yeah. we can add. I don't know a new point of view of of in this program. So um, we're discussing about that, no? Uh, and then we start to draw, and then okay, team starts to drawing better. And it's it's grow. <laughs> um, how many um, colleagues do you have in your office? Is it a what we are we it? are uh, heard about sixteen people. So. 16. 16. 16. Yeah. Not 60, eh? 16. Nice. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> 16. Yeah. And then with people coming and going, uh, we can be the double, but then yeah, it's can, not uh, a fixed number. It yeah. depends. You right. can know everybody at 16, too. Yeah, That's wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We yeah, are a, a, a big family. It's an yeah. extended family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So you work with your, you met your husband, your partners in school? Did you or not? Yeah, Ramon and Rafael were friends and they started to go to university together, sharing the same apartment, so they were classmates and uh, uh, apartment mate, no? <laughs> no, how do you say? And me, I'm one year younger. One year after, Ramon and me, we started to be uh, partners. Oh, nice. Something like this. Nice. <laughs> nice. So Ramon was friend uh, with Rafael and then Ramon and me. It was not yeah. Not a bad and, yeah, yeah. So evolved. So you said that all three of you bring different points of view and or different qualities or strengths to your mm -hmm. projects. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us a little bit about your partner's strengths? Like both of them, Ramon yeah, and Rafael. Well, mm. I won't ask you about yours. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, both of them, uh, they are very enthusiastic and very optimistic and <coughs> very, <coughs> you know, <laughs> with a, 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 a lot of uh, power. Mm, Ramon loves nature, mm. Rafael loves um, matter, mm -hmm. so mm, both of them, they are very... Can I say very terminal? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. In me, maybe I'm more. Um, <laughs> yes, I get it. They're more rooted and you're more ethereal. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> do you think that has anything to do with growing up with a father who was making inventions? Did he make you toys? Did you play with some of the no, things he but, did? No, but I, I usually go. I usually went, mm. oh, well, no, went, went, went with him when he went to see some uh, factories and, and I went with him to see all the machines and so on. <laughs> yes, it was funny because also he, he started also to make uh, automatizations, mm -hmm. no, you see, uh, for the micro hydroelectrical um, centrals how do you say no uh, this like uh, communication centers? micro no micro micro, micro yeah, that means right. small yeah. mm -hmm. hydroelectrical oh, so hydro these centrals, these yeah. centrals that use the water to yeah, yeah. to produce um, yeah. but micro ones he started to Automatization, that. Wow. So, and I went to see uh, textile uh, factories. Or, so, I, I have more these remembrances to be in factory to, to look to some machines. Machines, mm -hmm. no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Machines. Yeah. Yeah. machines. Yeah, machines are cool. Um, that's a very wonderful story. I was um, <clears throat> looking through all the projects that you've done, trying to get a handle on them. There's about 50 of them, I think. I don't know if that's the exact number, but that's that's what I could find. Um, and I'm wondering, you know, as those different personalities of your colleagues and yourself come out, is there one that kind of speaks more clearly to, you know, your sensibilities or um, that, that you really kind of, mm. that had a powerful yeah. impact on the way you... Either were a professional or I don't know because um, it's 
it's diffi it's difficult to say uh, this project uh, belongs more to uh, right. one to but sometimes they one. speak it's, to you it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's difficult no because even architecture you know it's a oh, it's long huh? mm -hmm. it's a marathon it's not an SP track huh? no it's, it's definitely a marathon. It's a marathon so even a project maybe in 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 one part could be more uh, leader leader mm -hmm. From one and another yeah, part. I assume that would so, be the case. Yeah. So it's not um, uh, oh. for me. Uh, uh, both they are very good in trying to convince people. <laughs> I see. <laughs> More than me. <laughs> well, there's so many different kinds of projects. I mean, it's such a wonderful thing about your firm's work. Is there? You know, there's there's sort of the almost the ephemeral to the you know very muscular sort of architecture in some instances, and then you can see so many different ways of thinking about it uh, that it was. But still, so rooted. Yeah. Yeah. So rooted in your area. So yeah. So so very much springing from where you are. Yeah. Not like some architects where it's like sowing seeds in the wind, not that their work might not be rooted when it's there, but yours it seems very particular practice, very much about about uh, Catalonia, looking at the moon and the Pyrenees and, <laughs> yeah. and the smells. <laughs> and the smells. <laughs> Did, do you live in someone else's architecture? Or do you live in your own architecture? Uh, Rafael is living in his own architecture, and Ramon and me, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Too difficult for us to decide. <laughs> yes, way no. too difficult. Too difficult. Oh, yeah. In English, what's the saying, Ron? An architect that has himself as a client has a fool. No, that's yeah. Right. Yeah, that's probably yeah, yeah. true. I think it's for lawyers, but then it works for <laughs> architects too. <laughs> and also in Spanish, we have a, we, we say that um, for a, an iron manager, do you understand an iron manager? Uh, someone who works with iron oh, no, and okay. steel. Yes, yes. Yeah, he uses a boot spoon. Yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. There's, it's, yes. there's many, there's many versions yes. of that. Many yeah. versions of that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, one of the things that's on, I was trying to figure out, there's probably only three questions one can ask someone, you know, really, and then just versions of it, but um, we haven't talked about the future at all. And uh, that would be one question that I would say as a category. And I, and I wonder, as you look at your career and where you are and at this moment, you know, like, what's on your mind for what's next? What's next? <laughs> Next, it's not something that we are planning. So next is now. You never get next, no. So you are doing this now, it's and, 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 and <laughs> it's now. So we are uh, we are in the same spirit. So we, we then change. Maybe now we are trying, you know, to. To to get some more ethereal way of construction. We'll see. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Mm -hmm. We are a little on this. Mm -hmm. uh, are there projects that this, are? Yeah, in these thoughts. Oh, I'll, we'll look forward to seeing. We'll see. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. We'll see. Oh, first we'll see. We always. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Fantastic. You had a question about architecture schools there. I wonder. If oh yes. Well, because going to architecture school when you did, um, what was it like? As I'm going to say the cliche thing, as a woman going to architecture school, you already said that um, Ramon and Raphael came to see the new girl in school. The new girl in school. The new girl in school. <laughs> how how. <laughs> Was it an odd choice? Was it an obvious? Uh, I guess you wanted to be an architect for a long time. But for me, it was uh, I thought, okay, we have to work all our life, <laughs> so <laughs> let's do something creative. No, I don't want to do some. Yeah. 
And um, at that time, when I went to school or when I went to university, we were a twenty-five percent human. Ah. But now the number of humans studying architecture in 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 our region are bigger than men. Yes. When you're talking, you were talking about process with Ron, with us, with with how you work with your partners, and I'm sure with your other colleagues the same way. Does play come into how you work? <laughs> we try to enjoy. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. And uh, you know, because when mm, when you have something in your head, no, it's mm, you cannot stop on thinking on that, and and you are walking, and you are doesn't matter doing. Doesn't matter what uh -huh. you have this in mind, and ah, and no, it's uh, you see in every corner things that helps mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So it was that that just we have said this in the beginning. No, it's it's a way of of living. Mm -hmm. So we try to enjoy. So play hard. Yes. Yeah. yes, yes, we try. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Not everything is so. Not everything is nice, eh? No. <laughs> no. 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 Dealing with permits. No. Well, no. Cities. No. No. Money. No. Money. Money regulations. No. Yeah. No. 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 Yeah. It's not nice. Not everything is nice, and more and more, uh, the processes are being harder and oh, stupid, yes. and yes. you know. Oh yes. Incredibly bad. Yes. No, uh, I don't know why, but we have a problem, a new law, but that doesn't solve the problem. That adds a new problem on top. Mm -hmm. So uh, that makes me crazy. Yes. So not it's so nice, and uh, and the way of doing things it's being more and more more s stupidly sophisticated. Yes, it's yes. a very good way. Yes. 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 No, but. Um, uh, we try to enjoy, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but n not everything. It's 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 nice. Eh? No, no, no. <laughs> but we have, have you try right? and, and and we are optimistic and <laughs> we and are strong. positive <laughs> and we are positive and so. Yeah, you're smiling and you're <laughs> um, Do you have much to do with architecture schools in Spain, or how do you how do you intersect with? Uh, you know the kind of state of, of education. We don't know how uh, how they work. So in the beginning, we went to to schools to teach some, but then it was so difficult to go to the schools because we are far from Barcelona, I and, see. and at that time even it took two hours to go. Now it's one and a half, but because we had a, a, a tunnel, which mm. is fantastic, but in the past we took two hours for going and coming back. So. We stop it. Uh, we decided more to be involved in, in our work, but after uh, several years after, no, because people ask it to us to come in summer for doing some practicing, and it was not so good because practicing in 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 an office for three weeks, one month, it's nothing yeah. because architecture mm -hmm. again, yeah. no, it's it's a long process of so being there one month. It has no mm -hmm. sense. But they said, okay, there are a lot of people who want to come in summer. Why why we don't do something with them? No? So we, maybe we can try to to make a workshop, to make some research. It's at that yeah, time a, a we decided to do this yeah. workshop, research, you know, to do yeah. something with them. Yeah, no, with I can them. see that in the motives behind what you might have done. Yeah, see, so... And now we have this uh, teaching moment. <laughs> yeah. I say in the year. No, no, we all we, we look for them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, teaching moments. Yeah. Do people pay to come to the workshop? Yes. Okay. Do people come from all over the world? Yes. Wow. It's nice. So. And we force them to work together. <laughs> <laughs> Do you set a theme? Does there a theme for every workshop? Like, do you say this theme is, I don't know what, ev the environment or new forms of construction? Do you, do you set a theme, an idea, or do you just let it? No, we, we, we put on uh, on uh, the table a subject to, to, okay. to think. Yeah. 
So we we put uh, on the table to to understand uh, the Museum of Architecture in Catalonia as a, a net of different places and buildings. Mm. Ah. So oh. to understand an open museum of architecture in Catalonia. Wow. And maybe, I don't know, maybe that's... It's exciting. That could be possible. Of course it could be possible. <laughs> that's exciting. Yeah. And it's so nice because mm, then you can establish, I don't know, for small regions or for periods of time from from the ruins, from the Greek ruins that we have till the most contemporary architecture. So we, we can have a, a, an alive uh, museum of architecture from the past till now or from regions, or it depends. We can see, it's so nice. And, and uh, also through this idea, yeah, we we develop um, maybe um, the whole one or whole two or whole three doesn't matter about the old um, historic farmer house in the in yes. the nice. <laughs> very nice. Knows? Yeah, it's so nice. I like this very yeah, much. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> it's exciting. Yeah, it yeah. is. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe, maybe. Who knows? Fantastic. 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 Maybe we own the truck. <laughs> well, I don't have I don't know. No, maybe we should, we should, well, I'm, this was a wonderful opportunity to speak with you yeah, informally. It's so nice. It was very with fun. You. And thank so you, Nancy. Nice. Thank, thank you, you. Carmen. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's wonderful. Yeah. Yes, you, you are wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so uncomfortable. <laughs> Awesome. Speaking but English. <laughs> yeah, surrounded by cameras and microphones. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs>